In recent years, the electric vehicle market has been booming globally, but when it comes to Germany's used electric car market, the situation tells a different story. Despite being a leader in automotive innovation and sustainability, the demand for pre-owned electric vehicles in Germany has stagnated. Two-thirds of the used car dealers did not even sell electric cars in Germany during 2024, and in June 2024, 80% of the car dealers reported selling electric cars at a loss. The used electric car market in Germany is near to dead. In this video, we'll dive into the reasons behind this. The used electric car market in Germany is currently navigating a complex landscape shaped by the rapid growth of electric vehicle sales over the past decade. In recent years, Germany has emerged as one of the leading markets for electric vehicles in Europe, with sales growing from just a few thousand units in 2010 to over 1.5 million electric cars on the road by 2023. Key statistics reveal that electric vehicles now account for approximately 15% of all new car registrations in Germany, a figure that continues to rise. However, despite this surge in new sales, the used electric car market is near to dead. Many consumers are still hesitant to purchase pre-owned EVs. The reasons behind this can be broken down to three main reasons. Electric vehicles fall in price more than average cars, but are still too expensive to buy in the used market. Concerns about the batteries in the used electric vehicles, and lack of a good high-performing charging infrastructure in Germany. The situation is even so bad that big brands in Germany, like Audi, BMW, Mercedes and Volkswagen, are working to fix the problem. In Germany, the electric vehicles tend to depreciate faster than traditional gasoline cars. On average, electric vehicles can lose up to 50% of their value within the first three years, compared to around 40% for conventional vehicles. Specific models illustrate this trend clearly. For instance, the Nissan Leaf, once a popular choice, has seen its resale value drop significantly over the years, primarily due to the introduction of newer competitors with improved range and technology. Similarly, the BMW 1 3 has experienced steep depreciation, despite its innovative design and features. Another factor contributing to this is the fact that new sales on electric vehicles have been stimulated by the government through purchase subsidies and tax breaks to encourage consumers to buy new electric vehicles. While these initiatives have successfully boosted new EV sales, they have impacted the resale value of used electric cars. But in the beginning of 2024, the German government scrapped the EV subsidies for the general public with the argument that creating a market permanently with subsidies is not a solution. But the prices still remain high at the used car dealers. A big problem for these dealers is that the residual values are unclear and the variety of cars is small. A big problem is also the high number of lease returns and used company cars. A used car dealer even said, the residual values set at the beginning of the lease were correct, but they are no longer suitable for the current market. That means it's obvious from the start that you're losing money. To the site Tendata.com. All these used electric vehicles in the dealership's yards put a strain on the balance sheet of the used car dealers, leading to the unwillingness to sell electric vehicles in the first place, since they have to sell a lot of these cars at a loss. The consumers think the electric vehicles are too expensive, and the used car dealers can't sell them for lower prices. One significant factor contributing to the dead market of electric cars in Germany is the uncertainty surrounding battery life and replacement costs. As potential buyers weigh the risks of purchasing a pre-owned EV, concerns about the longevity and performance of the battery can lead to lower willingness to buy used electric vehicles. Additionally, the perception that electric vehicles are still relatively new to the market means that many consumers prefer to invest in the latest models instead. Consumer feedback and surveys reveal these sentiments clearly. For instance, a recent survey indicated that over 60% of respondents cited battery concerns as a primary reason for avoiding used electric cars. Furthermore, many consumers reported feeling more comfortable purchasing a used traditional vehicle, as they perceive them to have a more established track record. While the country has a charging network that keeps on expanding, many regions still face challenges related to the density and distribution of charging points. Urban areas tend to have better access, but rural regions in Germany often struggle with limited options. This uneven distribution creates a perception that owning a used EV may not be practical for everyone. Charging speed is also a problem. 
Germany still lacks a nationwide high-performance charging infrastructure. Many used electric car buyers are concerned about the time it takes to charge their vehicles, especially when compared to the quick refueling of traditional gasoline cars. The lack of fast charging options can further exacerbate this issue with a dead second-hand market for used electric vehicles, particularly for those who rely on their cars for daily commutes or long-distance travel. In response to these challenges, the German government has launched several initiatives aimed at improving charging infrastructure, programs to install more public charging stations and incentives for private charging solutions have been introduced. While these efforts have shown some effectiveness, the pace of infrastructure development still needs to catch up with the growing demand for electric vehicles. Major players in the German automotive market such as Volkswagen and BMW have been pivotal in driving the electric vehicle revolution. Volkswagen's ID series and BMW's i3 have gained significant traction among buyers in Germany, yet the resale market for these models also remains dead. As these manufacturers continue to innovate and release new models, the challenge lies in convincing consumers that used electric cars can be a viable and reliable option. Audi and BMW have started to train their dealers to become better at selling used electric cars. Mercedes, on the other hand, has started to offer five-year warranties on selected models. Volkswagen's plan is that Volkswagen Financial Services will keep electric vehicles as long as possible in order to be able to offer customers attractive leasing contracts for used electric cars. Will these initiatives from the big brands in Germany and the scrapped EV subsidies for the general public lead to a restoration of the German market for used vehicles? What do you think? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.